Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Look Past Limits. If you're new here and don't know the channel, we're Stephen Vendy and for the last few months we've been backpacking through Central America, picking up some crew and positions on sailboats along the way. This week we bring you along on another sailing adventure. So this adventure actually started last week in Mexico and if you haven't already seen that video we were in Bacalar sailing on the lagoon. There's a link to it somewhere on the screen now so you can open that in a new tab and watch it later if you like. But Bacalar was our last planned location of our Mexico travels and from there we wanted to head to Belize. With the idea of more sailing on our mind we joined the Belize Cruisers Facebook group and asked if anyone with a yacht in Belize waters would like a couple of extra hands on board for a week or so. We were fortunate enough to get four or five responses and after chatting with each of them about timings, routes and plans, we decided we would join Bev on our 38 foot catamaran. The only problem was she was actually anchored in a bay on the island of Roatan which is part of Honduras and she was looking to sail back to Belize and we were in Mexico. So after some searching with our good old friend Google, we hatched a plan to get ourselves to Roatan, Honduras. So is this the smallest plane you've ever been on? I think so, apart from skydiving it is. So, we have made it to Honduras. Here Roatan. we are, Roatan, Honduras. So tonight we're just having a barbecue with some fellow sailors <laughs> in the Roatan. After enjoying a delicious barbecue with Bev and her friends from the anchorage, the following morning we were ready to lift the anchor and head on our way. Good morning guys. So we left the anchorage this morning at Jonesville Point and we've just came out onto the south side of Roatan Island and we're heading for West End. So we've got about three hour sail uh, to get there. The problem is there's no anchorage there, you have to pick up a mooring ball and the last that we heard was yesterday the mooring balls were all taken. Uh, it's a really popular spot down there but we're hoping the winds have just died off. Uh, there's been really strong winds for the past week which have been allow not allowing people to leave there basically so we're hoping that this morning someone will leave and we're on our way there and we'll manage to pick up a mooring ball. But, uh, we'll try and call ahead and see, but there's no reservation or anything, it's just a first come first served. So we're just motor sailing down just now with the head sail out. Uh, we're making about five, five and a half knots. Uh, we've got a couple of yachts behind us who look like the monohulls behind us, who look like they might be gaining on us. So we're trying to keep the speed up in the hopes that they don't catch us up because they're likely to be heading that way as well. Uh, and there's one way in the distance there as well, I don't know if you can see it, uh, there's a good chance that he's also heading in that direction, so we just need to keep our fingers crossed, see how it goes, but it's a really beautiful day, really pleasant sail, uh, we've got about 13 knots true wind speed on the beam, and sun's out, and yeah, super nice day for our first sail, awesome to be back on the water again, such a nice boat such a nice captain, so seems like we're in for a good couple of weeks. I don't know if you can make that out in the distance on this camera, but over there there's a few cruise ships. Uh, Roatan's a really popular destination for the cruise ships to come to. We've still not actually figured out where they go once they get off the ship because there doesn't seem to be a whole lot here, but I guess we're comparing it to the 
cruise ships in the med, so it's a different thing, but uh, I think I would much rather be on this boat than that boat, that's for sure. So we've just come out for an explore of the reef round about the mooring field here. That's the boat over there, and I'm just sitting in the dinghy here, letting Vendy have a explore. So just over there just now. So we're thinking about potentially going diving here in the next couple of days, um, but we'll probably we'll have to go in, book with a dive centre, and then they'll just bring us back out here on a boat. And this is the dive site right here. And so we thought, well, we can just go over in the dinghy and go for a look. So Vendy's just going for a little recce snorkel to see how it is. And we'll hear shortly from her if it's worthwhile paying for a dive or not. And then maybe she'll jump in the boat and I'll go in for a... We don't want to leave the boat here. I'm actually tied up to a mooring boat just now. If she goes further afield, I'll just follow her and dig it for a bit. I'm still back in the boat. Hello. Here we go. We arrived. Coral reefs are back. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> So how was the snorkeling, Missis? It was amazing. It's just so nice to be back on the coral reef. We ride by a sailboat, just went in the dinghy, jumped in the water, and it's just beautiful. Can I believe it? <laughs> That's Vendula in our happy place under the water. Doing some laundry there, honey? Yeah. Boat <laughs> laundry. Yeah. So, today's job is hull cleaning. Bev was at the last anchorage for a little while and the bit of undergrowth on the bottom of the boat. So we're prepared here with some tools. And we're going to go for a snorkel and see if we can clean the bottom. Shower time. Good morning, guys. We've been here at this absolutely stunning anchorage at West End of Roatan Island for a few days now. Uh, and we've not been talking to you much on the camera, we've just been enjoying the peacefulness and going snorkeling every day and it's just been such an awesome spot. Uh, and today we were supposed to be going diving, or well, we were all supposed to be going diving today. Uh, unfortunately yesterday I hurt my ear when I was snorkeling uh, with not equalising properly and now I can't even equalise on the surface this morning so I had to pull out of the diving because if I can't equalise my ears here then I'm certainly not going to be able to underwater and it's just going to ruin the dive. So Bev and Vendy went off diving this morning uh, and left me here in the boat so I'm just using the time to actually catch up with some editing. I just looked out just now and saw how peaceful it is so I thought I would take the opportunity to show you guys around. So here's a look at the absolutely stunning anchorage that we're currently sitting in. This is all dive boats all the way around here um, and this is the rest of the anchorage. It's not a, you're not actually allowed to anchor. I think we maybe said previously in the video you've got to be on a mooring ball and the dive school that they went with is just along there 
uh, and out here just I don't know if you can see the ripple in the water or not but all the way along from this end all the way along to here there's a huge reef and there's dive sites all the way along and this is where we've been snorkeling the last few days and it's just incredible out there it really is so I'm not exactly sure where they are they're going for two dives today we'll find out when they come back how it was so that's how it's looking out here and I might as well maybe just show you the boat now as well I guess it's a Maxim 38 catamaran it's not a boat that we knew much about before coming on here but it's really really nice uh, really well built 2005 but Bev's been keeping it in really good condition uh, she's done a lot of work to it and yeah it's a really nice boat We've not had a huge amount of sailing time on it yet. Uh, we only moved from Jonesville down to here, uh, but we're looking forward to heading over to Utila soon, so we'll get a good day sailing then. Uh, I'll show you the cockpit along here. So this is where we've been spending most of our time the last few days. Great access to the water here. And I'll take you inside for a look as well. Here's the galley, super spacious. Bev's cabin's down there. Another spare cabin in the... And then we've got the saloon here. And nav station. And this is where we're living down here. So we've got head, a bathroom here. And then through to our cabin. And there's tons of space, enough for me to stretch out well in there. And along here there's actually another cabin, but we're just using it as storage just now for all our crap. Because as you know, we're living out of bags, so that's pretty much everything that we own there just now. Bev's got the place really nicely decorated with all our little trinkets and bits and pieces that she's collected from all our travels. I'm just sitting here making some more videos for you guys until they come back so there you go there's a tour of the boat and how we've been living and where we're calling home just now we're super lucky and grateful to be on this boat and to have met Bev so how was the diving? It was awesome. Shame that you have missed it out again, but it was amazing. We saw a couple of turtles and lobsters and big crabs and some beautiful coral, what I've not really seen anywhere else. So it was really beautiful. Well worth it. Deco beer? Get rid of some rubbish whilst we're ashore. Let's have a look in here. Paradise. So, what's the verdict? That's pretty awesome. <laughs> well, that was cold. They told us a little bit about how the chocolate's made and we could buy some of their products so we can take it home. <laughs> So before 
before we, because we never really planned to come to Rotan or to Honduras. So we didn't really know if we were going to come to Honduras on this trip. Uh, but it just kind of happened with the boat that Bev was coming, uh, was telling us to come here. And so we flew straight into Roatan and never really had much expectations. The only thing I knew about Roatan was diving and that there's really good dive sites here, but didn't know how the island was going to look like. And super cool though, eh? It's got a real... It's got the real Caribbean island vibes to it yeah. and it's funny because the people here, the Caribbean people here, they speak English and they think that they're different. They are different from the rest of the people on mainland Honduras and we just never knew that this existed here. No. Uh, and it really, it really is like super Caribbean feel, eh? In mainland Honduras they speak Spanish or mostly Spanish and the people here speak English because they class themselves as Caribbean. So. That's quite cool. Yeah. this morning sun's just coming up beautiful morning absolutely flat calm though no wind at the moment so hopefully it picks up later where are we off to we are leaving Rotan this morning heading to Utila so we're just going to hoist the main whilst we're still on the mooring ball here and then we do a motor sail for the start and hopefully we'll pick up some wind later we should have about a four hour sail to Utila Keeping an eye on the depth there? Yeah, it's shallow. Look at how clear this water is, that's unbelievable. 